uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these other things, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough, indeed, to be doing it too. Welcome back to channel, I'm Bushkin. Today's video is a fascinating one for me. This is the Object 590. It's the recently added Tier 8 Soviet premium tank. Now, probably not too exciting, because if you know anything about this game, it's that there's been just a bunch of Soviet premium tanks at tier 8 that are very, very similar for an awfully long time. Talking about all the way uh, back to the T-54 Mod 1, uh, even into the Type 59, the Chinese tier 8 medium tank. And they are all very, very similar. 280 Alpha, check. Strong turret armor, check. Angled upper glacis, check. Uh, but that's where there is a little bit of a difference with gun depression. And the reason I like talking about this tank so much is it is such a good tank, but it's such a clear indicator of just how important the stat gun depression is. Tanks like the 54 Mod 1 or the T-54 first prototype as it's called, the T-44-100, the Type 59, they max out at 7 degrees, okay? And... In fact, the Mod 1 is 5 degrees. The 44-100 is 5 degrees. The ST-62 version 2 is 6 degrees. Uh, and I've never driven that tank. And I don't know what the hell it is. I don't even know what it looks like. But it exists. Um, the 274-A is 7 degrees. And people would say to you, well, it's only 1 degree of gun depression. Surely that's not that important. But it's more than just 1 degree of gun depression. It's like 15% more gun depression. If you were to say to someone, well, that tank has 3,000 DPM and that tank only has 2,500 DPM, that would be a clearer indication. But because it's just 5v7, it doesn't seem like such a big thing. But the difference with one degree of gun depression is so evident when you play this tank. Uh, how about this shot, by the way? That's with like 185 millimeters of pen. I got no idea how that went through. Like, there's moments in this game that are just baffling to me. Still, I'm playing on the North American server, by the way, and I did a whole stream on the 590. It wasn't like as good as a fatness kind of let's all get cool and do happy things to each other tech tree stream or something. It was just Bushka rolling around on NA, and we won a lot in this team. I think we ended up with 20 games and 17 wins or something, about 2,100 average damage. And what I found was that it was very, very useful and very, very easy to get shots in this tank. That the turret was reliable and that despite having not incredible DPM and not incredible pen, you were able to manufacture good damage games time and time again. One of the things that is most important in Blitz is having a definable skill that you can hang your hat on something that will allow you to be effective in set places on set maps uh, when you're running say an stb with 11 degrees of gun depression on canal you want to go to that hill and you want to farm shots on the medium flank uh, when you're in a t62a on middleburg you want to get low into the ridges and use that extraordinarily strong turret armor to bounce shots and use high DPM, like long time on target situations, like to max it out. Leopard 1, you want to move all over the map, use your gun depression to get shots and relocate really, really quickly. You get the idea. Well, the Object 590 is important because it earns good money and it has the ability to go hull down and use gun depression, but at the same time, be a bully about it. It just doesn't have to peek out take a quick shot and then pull back like say a leopard pta or an hwk 30 it's able to go out take a shot and just sit there like it, it can bounce a lot of shots from lower tier tanks it can bounce same tier tanks and if you get elevated you can bounce standard ammunition from tier 9 tanks comfortably now there are weak points on the hatch it's not the most incredible hatch you've ever seen but it's by no means a walkover. It's the kind of tank that can do a lot of things relatively well. And that's because Russian tanks traditionally do not have gun depression. And they all 
you know, they all rely on this very, very standard feel. 280 Alpha. That's what you get. You get a 280 Alpha gun that will do about between 2,000 and 2,300 damage. Um, and it's, it's really weird to me that that's still the case. Like, it's just... It's always the case. You get the... You get the weirdo T-44 gun in the tech tree that you can do 400 damage with, but they've always balanced tier 8 medium Russian tanks like this. The tank that this reminds me of the most is obviously the Type 59, the Chinese uh, tier 8 medium tank, because the Type 59 was the original heavy turret, strong... Uh, hull down but again it doesn't have as much gun depression and it has slightly less uh slightly less dpm as well and i just find it incredible how adding one degree of gun depression has turned this tank from something i think which is very run-of-the-mill a standard tier 8 russian medium to the best tier 8 russian medium the T-54 Mod 1 was a tank I drove an awful lot to grind. Uh, it was a great tank to grind it. Um, but its armor profile was what made it special. And its armor profile isn't nearly as effective these days. It was It's great against certain tanks, but it's certainly not the top of the tree. Um, what's, what's different about this tank? Well, you're mobility is pretty much in the mix um your top speed's 52 kilometers an hour which is not terrible it's not incredible it's just right around there it's about the same as the t44 100 for instance um the the mod one with all its heavy armor only goes 44 kilometers an hour uh, your penetration numbers are typically russian they're not great. 181 millimeters of pen on your AP. 243 millimeters of pen on your heat, because obviously heat only normalizes a half the level of AP. You'd prefer to be running AP or APCR on that. Um, something the object 274A does uh, very well, in fact. Um, and you do have weak points on the hatches. They're very hard to hit. They're not incredible, the hatches. Uh, this is a... I think this is a tier 9 game. Yeah, this is... And this is the weekend that they released the Rhinoceronte line. Um, I will take a sidebar here and talk about the North American server. I know... NA has probably won more global... I mean, I was there in Vegas when NA won its first tournament... Um, beating the Russian teams uh, at the Mobile Masters, Amazon Mobile Masters. But I find it so much easier to play on North America than I do on Asia because North America is just loose. People, like, that's an AFK. That AMX 1390 is... The only tank that can't shoot him right now is the guy he's trying to shoot. I, and that Predator, he's not good. He is not a good player. Um, coincidentally, that tank was very OP when it first came out. I haven't driven it forever, and I actually sold it um, on my standard account way back when. Um, it's a 2v4, and we're going to change that. The gun's pretty reliable. The You can see good solid bounces there. The gun is actually... Pretty reliable. Uh, 0.335 dispersion isn't great, but it's it's good for a tier 8 Russian med... Good enough for a tier 8 Russian medium. I wouldn't want to say it's a sniper. It sure as hell isn't that. But it's reliable enough that you can hit what you're pointing it at at a reasonable range. Uh, that punched right through the front drive wheel side. My bad. Bad, uh, bad play there. We're up to 3,200. And all we've done here is... Is hold angles up the top. We're holding angles, angles for days, boys. Um, and we're just trying to help on the targets that I feel like are going to be more difficult to clear. I'm not worried so much about that Progetto because he's a one-shot. Uh, 
but this IS-5, he's obviously a worry. Still two tanks left. That Predator's available and the Progetto's there. I don't know where the Predator is. And we're going to go for a drive around. So, let's get back to the 590. It is always cool, I think, when Wargaming take what is a status quo and just give it a little bit of a twist. And that's what this tank is. It is the standard for the past six or seven years, tier eight Russian style medium or Chinese knockoff with one degree more gun depression than the rest of the mob. And it stands out. It really does stand out. And it's like taking the Chimera and putting a 400 Alpha gun on it, uh, but still keeping that strong British turret. It's it's the little points of difference that really do interest me in these kind of tanks. And I am a gun depression freak. As anyone who's watched the channel for a long time would know, one of my favorite tanks of all time, although sadly she has started to be crept by the power now as the tier 10s that they see have more and more ridiculous armor screen schemes like is the Centurion 701. You used to be able to pen most of the tier 10 heavies with AP if you could catch them, but now you're dealing with things like 60 TP Lewandowski's, Type 71's, Grand Vargans, uh, Rhinocerontes, Mouses, and tanks like the Sense 701 just don't have it anymore. It's still able to perform very well at its tier, but it can't be up to gear and use Esh and actually get away with it. Um, so I've always loved that, the Comet, the Centurion, uh, the Leo-1, the STB, the M48A1 uh, Patton is actually a vastly underrated tank, I find. And these are the things that make it easy to manufacture shots. If you have gun depression, you are more likely to be able to get a shot off in any given situation, even if the rest of your tank might not be suited for it. So I hope you enjoyed this little look and this little chat about the Object 590. Uh, a good tank. And if you were lucky enough to get it, kudos to you. It's a good credit grinding tank. It makes nice cash. And it's a very, very simple tank to drive. Go hull down, use gun depression, profit. Um, yeah, I mean, hello. Uh, yeah. Until next time, look after yourselves, stay safe on the battlefield, and uh, remember to like the videos and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, it's it's just a good old time here in Blitzland. I'm still doing lots of Blitz video, and I'm definitely playing a lot of tanks. Uh, from me to you, all the love in the world, signing out now, amigos. Au revoir. Mastery time. Thanks very much. Five kills, four and a half K. Move on. I think I got a lucky from the uh, bloke in the red progetto. He thought I was very lucky.